All right, waking up in uh, Connecticut. Let's see what we got today. Uh-oh. Looks like uh, possibly the worst snowstorm uh, in history is on the way. Can't believe it. This is Jason Green broadcasting live from Connecticut. As you can see, the blizzard is underway. Winter Storm Watch 2023. Uh, Connecticut hasn't seen snow like this in quite some time. You can see the, how uh, hard it is coming down. We are expected to be snowed in. Many will be uh, uh, stranded um, here in Connecticut. Well, as you can see, it is snowing this morning here in Connecticut. They have a nice fire uh, area set up though uh, for those who want to sit by the fire. Anyway, uh, I used to say that I would miss the snow in New York City. That's actually not true. I didn't say I'd miss it. I just thought I actually wanted to get away from the cold, but sometimes it's nice to see. I would have enjoyed this more if it was uh, Christmas time, uh, as you can see nice trees and things but uh, I had to get out of bed and come down here and, and see some of this snow uh, because who knows when we'll see it again uh, at least in Las Vegas we're not gonna see snow like this we're gonna see what happens tomorrow we have to go to uh, New York it's about a two-hour drive we're supposed to rent uh, a car to do that we're gonna see I don't think the snow is that bad as much as I like to say it's the worst storm in history, I think we'll be okay. This is Jason Green coming to you with an update. It is obvious that the snow uh, is getting worse and that the blizzard is uh, very much in effect. People are gonna have to start uh, locking down, animals pairing up, uh, preparing for what will be the worst storm in history. Jason Green coming to you live from the heart of the storm here in Connecticut, Blizzard Watch 2023. As you can see around me, the conditions are getting worse. Uh, this is the storm of the century. You're gonna wanna stay tuned uh, for all the latest news and safety uh, tips and developments right here. Look at that. Walking in a winter wonderland. Too bad it's not Christmas time. I'm straying off the beaten path. Hoping I don't trip and fall. But uh, in these tour diaries, we want to show you the most beautiful views. This is the lake. Jason Green coming to you live from the blizzard of 2023 here in Connecticut. Behind me, you can see the lake. I will tell you that right now, the lake is very cold and possibly freezing. Uh, stay tuned for the lake. Jason Green coming to you from Connecticut. It is currently snowing. As you can see, we are tracking the storm. Uh, blizzard, snow watch 2023. Conditions haven't been seen like this in ages. Behind me, you can see the lake. I will point out right now that the lake is very cold. Uh, possibly freezing, so you will want to stay tuned for all of the latest. Bringing you an update, the lake is still very cold and uh, still very close to freezing. Um, you will want to stay tuned because uh, we are bringing you this coverage live from the heart of the storm. I've got to be uh, an idiot to be out here uh, covering this. I'm not dressed very warm either. Uh, but what uh, these tour diaries lack is uh, snow and also uh, a drama. And this is very serious drama. We could be uh, snowed in here for the rest of our uh, lives. Maybe not. You couldn't tell 
that there's a snowstorm outside uh, by looking around this place, the Mohican Sun in Connecticut. People are going about their business and uh, yeah, I guess the East Coast is used to it. This is the uh, Wolf's Den. A lot of bands in Connecticut play the Wolf's Den. Kind of cool place, right in the middle of the casino floor. And uh, if you have a ticket, or I think it's free, but if you have a ticket or a free admission, you come in here. And if not, you can watch from anywhere in the casino. And here we are, we're taking the tour. This is, uh, so yeah, Earth Hotel. Um, and are you concerned at all with, uh, you know, exposure? Do we need to go back a house to get him down here, or? Well, let's just drive him. Yeah, it would be okay. I get, I get no, 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 I mean because I could either meet him in the lobby or we could, I could talk oh, to security oh. and get him brought yeah, down yeah. to the loading dock. Okay, now where do we go? Yeah, oh, yeah. Yes, room through. Here it is. Okay, hey, look at that. Nice. Right here. You would never know all this is under there. Jeez. Yeah. Like, uh, you see that little stage? I'm like, in Vegas, they have lounges like that. And that's it. And that's it. There's yeah. nothing else to it. So great. Okay. Well, yeah, because right now I have no idea. This is the valet <laughs> Oh, wow, this is great. How crazy. We never know So when we come back, he'll pull up here. Yep, I'm pulling up right here. And then just yeah. walk there. That's great. You guys are great. This is easy. I am leaving the comfort of my hotel to bring you um, the latest weather forecast. We will see uh, what is happening, what has changed, what the current state of uh, weather here in Uncasville, uh, Connecticut is. The answer uh, is, hold on, uh, yes, it is still snowing. <laughs> Johnny and I are waiting for dinner. We're having a, we're eating at Todd English's Tuscany. Todd English is world renowned. You're familiar with him, right? I thought it be. Oh. Well, I think uh, you're going to have bolognese tonight. You must be good at getting some eating. That's what I thought. And look at that. And it's a waterfall. We're eating in a waterfall. Very romantic. Yeah, it's, it's okay. a, uh, uh, Johnny dressed up in this. Uh, myself, not so much. Can we follow him? Yeah. They told us that we could sit inside or outside by the waterfall, and I asked her which would be more romantic for Johnny and I, and uh, she said the waterfall. She said she recommends that we sit. Are we going to be able to talk while we're having dinner at the waterfall? Go ahead, after you, my dear. <laughs> yeah, well, that's somebody else's girl. Oh, here we are, me and Johnny, making a scene uh, at the... At the uh, Want to side sit, Johnny? What do you think? No, I could have. He was right. The, the waterfall is more romantic. And uh, Johnny and I have learned that you can't insult people for being gay, so we're proud and out. Hi. Hi, how are you? There's Johnny. There's our cover. I don't even call him that anymore. Anyway, we're going to have a nice dinner. Johnny, I, you asked her what this is. I, was, I think she said it's the olive top uh, hunachi. I was, it was a rhetorical question. Right, that's what I thought too. Yeah, we didn't need we didn't need it. It's not caviar though, I don't think. Wow, it's really good. It's good? It tastes like olive. Great. I was enjoying my meal and I forgot I gotta shoot up. Johnny loves when I, I I inject myself at the table. And so do all the other people who are watching or just what? trying to enjoy an expensive meal. What? But when you've got the uh, when you've got the diabetes, you sometimes have to do this at the dinner table. Johnny closes his eyes. We're having rigatoni bolognese, and therefore, I've got to make sure that I uh, shoot a lot of insulin, or otherwise I, I won't make it that much longer. All right. This is a shrimp cocktail. Uh, Johnny's having as well, and then that's a spicy meatball right there. That's a spicy. This is some romantic meal I ordered for both of us. 
uh, like any true gentleman on a date would. All right, I'm having a cheesecake. It doesn't look like Junior's cheesecake, but whatever. Johnny's having the black bottom girl's burn creme brulee. It has burn sugar, uh, black toppings, uh, African American, depending on where you are. A little wafers for Johnny to dip, uh, as the case may be. And then I, uh, me, they just spilled some stuff. Uh, anyway, fantastic. fantastic. Best part about traveling is uh, being generous and uh, uh, tipping with uh, somebody else's money. And so and it was a very good deal. Johnny leaving a very large tip to, uh, on the house. And, uh, time to get ready. Johnny and I had a fantastic uh, uh, date, I mean meal. And uh, now it's off to, uh, I would say one hour until we all meet to go to the gig. And then uh, shows at eight o'clock, it's an early night. Oh, yeah, the waitress told Johnny and me to break a leg. I got my leg broken. Uh, I've been walking with a limp side, right? Power of suggestion. Power of suggestion. La Forza del Destino. The monster system. If you're a uh, <clears throat> straight grown man, like I sometimes consider myself, you have to put eyeliner on uh, before you go to a show. So I usually come right here, and I don't think you're supposed to make it look good. Some people think you have to make it look good, uh, but I don't. Uh, you're supposed to make it look like you've been wearing it, uh, sleeping in it for 50 years. You know what I'm saying? And when you have uh, skin cancer scars like I do, uh, it helps to make yourself uh, uh, have uh, this kind of beauty. Like most things I do, I like uh, people who don't like it. Like if someone goes, why is that boy wearing eyeliner? You know, or things like that. The, uh, he's got the makeup on. You know, I enjoy that. I enjoy people who are bothered by anything I do, and that is why I make sure that I put on an eyeliner uh, before the show. And when you become old and fat, it happens to all of us, um, sometimes you want to make sure uh, that you have any kind of distraction uh, uh, from life, like I do. Um, it's either this or well, anyway, it's this. Look at that, Stephen. Snow. Stephen and I are reporting on the weather. Stephen, what is the weather? It's fucking snowflaking. Snowflaking. And we'll see what happens. You heard it here first. Stay tuned for all the latest developments. Blizzard behind us. It's a blizzard. Blizzard of Oz. Mm -hmm. Well said. Where is Oz? Gotta make our mark. You can see who created that original logo. Slide over everybody else. No one else. All right, there we go. All right, here we go. We had Stephen sign some of these CDs for the merch table. And now we're going to put these out and uh, see how everything is going. That's to the stage. I don't want to go to the stage. So we can see all the nice people. I don't know if you guys have seen this bathroom, but they have a cuck couch in here. Uh, in case you want someone to watch so while you use the restroom, there's a beautiful plush couch. Imagine the stains. Make sure I don't fall down. Get some set lists out. Show people what this place looks like. There are a lot of wasted time for fans. We're looking at everybody. Here. Rock and roll is alive and well. Look at everybody. Okay. And this is right in the middle of the casino. Look at all the nice people. But yeah, anyway, right in the middle of the casino. People are excited. I'm excited. Give you a hit. The little one on the right. Juan 
around our, uh, the casino celebrating after the show. Oh, look at this. Vivo Las Vegas. Uh, Elvis. Alright, that sucks. You would think uh, I, I would want to play slot machines being out of Las Vegas, but gotta have a little fun. Vegas, Vegas. Oh my, we got a roll of seven. That's a two. God. Oh my God, what is happening? Oh my God, Johnny, we're rich. This is it. This is it, Johnny. We're gonna quit this shitty job. Johnny and I, uh, we missed the Cosmopolitan back home. This is even a straw. I think Johnny's been drinking a little bit tonight. But we are playing the Vivo Las Vegas uh, slot machine. And we're having a great time, right, Johnny? Come on. 30 quarters. Oh, my. Look at us. Get rich, Johnny. Oh, jeez. He's drunk. He's drunk. Oh, boy, Johnny. This is it. We're going to be rich. This is it. This time we're gonna be rich. Oh, oh boy! Oh, oh. This is it. I'm gonna quit my job. Oh my god! This is why people come to Connecticut to get rich. Roger Moore. What happened? Bang! That's it. We won three dollars and seventy. Voodoo, Johnny. Voodoo free spins. This is it. Now we're gonna be rich. Those other times are bullshit. But this time we're gonna get rich. Go on the boat. Oh my god. Johnny, this is it. We got 85 luxury cruisers. Oh, Jesus. I don't think I can take the excitement. That's the guy from the 7 Eleven commercial. Oh, 7 Up. Oh, look at that. That's him. So there he is, actually, right here, too. <laughs> it might be all right. We are so rich, Johnny. Look at us. Look at that, Johnny! Woohoo! Johnny, we are so rich. Look at all the money we made. 151. Oh my god, Johnny. That's it. We did it. It's three o'clock in the morning. Johnny and I are on a quest for fun. If you ever see Johnny walking like that, you know he's drunk. It's the Johnny Monaco drunk walk. We're gonna get 86. We're looking to meet Scott Coogan at a place called Johnny Rockets. And uh, there's Johnny Rockin' right now. <laughs> you, guys are, uh, yeah. you guys are drunk. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 we're actually sober. You can see us more drunk. Johnny Rockin'. No, we're actually sober. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh. Everybody here. I'm pretty well hot today. Don't say anything. We're here at the. Uh, it's it's like almost four in the morning. We're gonna head to uh, Coho's, New York tomorrow. We're very excited. There's a sprinter. There's a sprinter coming for us. I don't think it's uh, Bruce Jenner, but we're gonna sprint to Coho's. Johnny's very excited. Maybe a little intoxicated. Johnny, that's where we had our romantic dinner. Johnny, you have a lip. Johnny, 3.32 in the morning, making my way back 
to my uh, room. We had so much fun. This is one of those nights on the road that's a blur. And it's also one of those nights on the road that uh, you regret staying up so late. I hear noise. Fuck if I got noisy neighbors. If you want to stay in the same room as me, here's your, here's your room. Yes. Look at this Motley crew. Hey, Johnny, I can't believe you got up. I got so drunk, I don't know what happened. Yeah. I was someone spiked your drink. They roofied you. Roofied in you. She wanted to marry me. They don't look like you have angles. Oh. You're near the Safety Here's message. the exit right here. Can you take care of that? Good luck. You fucked up. Don't go that way. Good luck. <laughs> Morning safety and investors. Everybody's on their own. Everybody Gentlemen, take himself. your seats and take a seat over there and over the window over there. Every man for himself. Every man for himself. So for the Sa safety the lesson. Stop exactly shopping. Your gloves. Need. Oh yeah, that's right. You didn't either. If it's the right one, Sony. Is that the right one? This is gloves. Somewhere in New York. Not really sure where. Three pairs of glasses on his head in no time. Life on the road. Coffee. I don't. Know, I actually don't even know where we are. This is kind of the Albany area. It's snowing a little bit. Oh, it is. Yeah. And uh, the snow. Jason Green reporting to you live from the Loves uh, in some part of New York, possibly Albany. Stephen Piercy is checking the temperature. Uh, and we, we would say it's a little cold and uh, slight, slight snow. 101. This place is official. Look at this. All the rooms are ready. Sign for everything. Doesn't happen that often. When you get an efficient hotel, you want to document it. So yes, thank you so much because this is perfect. You show up and your key is there. We've been fortunate to be staying in all these uh, nice hotels the last couple of days. This is just a comfort inn, and I thought, well, you never know. Sometimes the uh, comfort inn isn't so bad. It's usually based on who uh, who's managing uh, or owning the franchising. And uh, this is nice. It looks just as nice, and the bed is high. I like uh, I like to be high when I get in bed, but I also like the bed to be high. And uh, yeah, sometimes you get a handicap room where the bed is too low, and it's no good. Not when you're tall, like I am. And uh, and let's see the view. Well, that's nice. This would have been another nice uh, holiday place. Can we open this? Yeah, it's freezing. Out. Who cares? Anyway. Uh, let's see, here we are in the uh, Comfort Inn. Last show of three nights is tonight. Coho's in California. It's very strange. That. We park, and I couldn't tell you where there's a theater in this it's area. The yeah. <laughs> Going this way. It's a short jog, Scott. All right. Rock and roll. Rock and roll. Bogies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know how our agent said we're going to Coheats. Coheats. It's spelled C-O-H-O-E-S. That's Coho's. 
I don't know how you get keys out of hose. Right, Johnny? <laughs> now, be careful. I'm not used to this slush. Johnny, this place is haunted, just so you know. Yeah. By a chick. Look at this place. How cool. Well, this is the Coho's Music Hall in Coho's, New York. And uh, this is a national uh, support place. And we're excited to be here. There is a ghost a performer named Ava who uh, allegedly still haunts the place. We're going to take a look at uh, the shrine they have for her. They say if you make an offering, they say she's not uh, a mean, she's a jokester. So anyway, Coco is musical. Hold down. Uh, you can see the snow. Uh, oh, I think I see a ghost now. The ghost of Johnny Monaco. That was pretty scary. The seating's hard for me. Smells like an old theater. Wow. Looks like the Ramones, the brick wall backdrop. Hi, how are you? Good, thank you. Oh, that's where the guys from the Muppets sit, right there. Everybody says that. Yeah. <laughs> Waldorf and the Statler. Hey. All right. All right, John is showing us around. Coho's Music Hall. Dressing room B, right here. So this will be your access room to the stage, and then I got a full dressing room downstairs with bathrooms. Hi, how Robert. are you? Nice to see you. This is Tara. Hi, Tara. She is a Tara too. Uh, I think we uh, message. Uh oh, oh, steep yes. stairs, steep stairs. Steep stairs, being cautious. Ooh, don't go too fast. Wow. It is, it's an old building. Old school. You know? Gonna right. get lost here. This is where Freddy Krueger yeah, hangs is, out. Uh, hello. Yes. Welcome to the salsa room. Here's the. Uh, who would have known that uh, Annie Oakley played here? And Jerry Lewis, and George Cohen, and of course Ava, who haunts the place. She's a jokester. Buffalo Bill Cody, Patsy Cline, the great Jimmy Durante. This place is great. This is the way you enter. You only walk 35 flights up to get in. There she is. This, this is the woman. She haunts the place. She haunts, she's the ha ha she haunts the place. Natural. Oh. She was making thirty five hundred a week. Sort of back then. More than making now. There's Buffalo Bill. Adelaide Dickey. You like a little Adelaide Dickey. Adelaide Dickey. Thumbs. Hey Buffalo Bill. Look at the top. Johnny is listening to May Castell, Daddy Boot. But Johnny, what you probably don't realize is that is the voice. Uh, uh, well, the voice is Betty Boop, but the actress is Aunt Bethany in Christmas Vacation. She died shortly after that. Yeah, I learned a little something. Yeah. 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 Look at these old time uh, things. Crazy. Look at this. A lot. Right, let's, uh, let's look around this place some more, I suppose. I don't even know. I guess this is how you get in. All these people come in this way and walk up these stairs? I can't imagine. It doesn't Great seem possible. Gearbox. Things move on and, you know. Yeah, that's a good point. They miss this place. 
I guess this is going to be the lobby. It's, in 100 years, they're going to be looking at the, our Priuses like this. <laughs> What's this stupid car? All right, well, here's the box office. That's where you walk up and buy your Let's tickets. Let's go out to the lobby. This is definitely that. Concessions are welcome inside the, the theater. Oh, what is that, Mon? What is that place? The pictures are coming to life. This is like someone's private. John, you want to tickle the ivories? This place is haunted. Oh, that's I bet. Ooh. Things don't work out. You could be an organist or a, or a, a penis. I was trying to think of you know, the fire scale. That reminds me of New York. For sure. So the guy in the kitchen's telling me in the car should smile more. And then he goes, "This is kind of a depressing town." <laughs> Did it make you smile? No, that's why. <laughs> Prove my point. Coho's musical. Yeah, I like this place. I like this. Yeah. Oh, why? The ghost doesn't. You have to. They keep it all locked up. There's nobody even oh, here. We're not even talking to anybody. They lock up the ghost. Oh, she's not real. I'm not right. Yeah, and has access. A sex what? Access oh. up there, because it's at the it's oh, on okay. the top floor. And oh. they're all locked up, so cool. you Thanks. really need one of the two head people to be able to get Do you know the story of what we're going to look at? Uh, yeah, she's a, she was a performer here. Uh, she was discovered here in uh, the hall uh, in the 1900s, and uh, she went on and became super famous, um, and she was a co-host resident, and she's been here since her death. Um, and yeah, every every show that comes here, we put something on the stage, uh, put something up for her. All right, here it is. Very cool. So this is the shrine for, for Ava. Look at this, huh? It's like a gypsy thing. How cool it is. Can't be safe. Oh, is that how she died? <laughs> she fell over the edge? What did happen to Ava? She died of old age. She retired. Um, she was super, uh, like, at her peak, she was making like fifteen hundred dollars a week in in eighteen nineteen as a woman in show business. Mm -hmm. More than me. She was yeah, she I mean she was she was like Madonna, Beyonce level. And what did she do? She was a vaudevillian. She billed herself as the girl who made vaudeville famous. Which is a pretty heavy claim. <laughs> so are you supposed to leave a gift or something? Couldn't leave a pick, leave a gift. How about a, how about a quarter? Whatever you guys want to leave man anything. Yeah, so we're all checking out. I think I got a pick in my pocket. Hold on. Alright, here I got something. Charlie's got a pick. <laughs> you can see, I mean, people leave, like, I think. We leave him? I think Carla Bonham left that. Like, who? Carla Bonham, she wrote for, like, uh, the Red Alert. Oh, he is a. Yeah, he is a little scary. And, and if, if, I don't know if you've seen The Phantom of the Opera, but these things are going to break at any second. And, <laughs> and uh, yeah. Johnny, did you see over here where the old guy from The Muppets sit? Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. Stephen Piercy! <laughs> but anyway, well, we showed our respect, cool. and it was very cool. Yep. I liked it. A little liked history. It. Very close to it. Want us, does anyone want to get in there? Yeah, maybe the other guys yeah. want to see it. We, we've enjoyed it, and uh, we showed nothing but respect to Ava, so... Yeah. so something. I didn't want to get cursed, so I'm going to sign the wall. What's her name? Ava. 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 You can Google her. There's all sorts of stuff on like haunted ghost music hall. Every every you know they can extra fuck in the rehabs by doing a once a week tour. We uh we've had a lot of ghost tours. Oh, okay. Yeah, every every October we get oh, wow. so many phone calls about like oh we're still over on the music hall and it's like no all right there we go we added to offer johnny if this falls on your head during the show i mean it won't because you went eric did not go visit the ghost to pay any respect i'll be smiling good chance <laughs> yeah good chance to fall on his head the co-ho's music hall a lot of history this is an old uh, place yeah hold on one second let's show where the muppets would sit or the phantom of the opera depending on your 
level of education. Jason Green reporting live from Coho's New York. The weather, it is right now very cold. tell that this building goes back to the 1800s after show party here in the lobby Johnny looking to cater the after show event it was successful a successful show as they might say yeah, and uh, nothing but the fun come to uh, comfort in we ordered some food because this is the after show party Here's Johnny. I don't know what the fuck we ordered. I, mean, I guess we're gonna eat it. What do you think, Johnny? Does it look good? No. Yeah, I agree. We're at the uh, airport in Albany, and uh, Johnny and I are waiting to board a flight. This will be the longest day in flying history. Uh, we will be, our travel day will be 14 hours. Uh, and so we'll be in Las Vegas uh, uh, around 10.30 p.m. Uh, there will be a time difference, obviously. So long day, we're on our way to Baltimore, Maryland. Johnny, you know a band from Baltimore? Uh, Baltimore. Yeah, I knew that. I'll give you a hint, the guitar player eats a lot of meat. Kicks, the band Kicks is from Baltimore, Maryland. Yeah, anyway, so we're gonna be there and then uh, we're gonna be in Baltimore for four hours. Four hours, might do a live show. Johnny, you can have some Baltimore crabs while you're there. I believe he is, yeah. Edgar Allan Poe is buried there. We have four hours, we'll probably go visit. Anyway, and then off to Vegas. We'll talk. We'll all get there at the same time, believe it or not. So feel free to spread out, get comfortable, cozy, have room for everyone to have a seat in between them. Spread out! Everyone to spread out. If spread everyone puts out. up in the front, we won't be able to take off. We'll get delayed getting over to Baltimore. So to save some time, just go There's ahead and nobody spread out on this together. plane. Thank you and welcome aboard. Johnny and I have our uh, special seat. Spread out, see? Spread out. Anyway, we're off to Baltimore. What's that? Someone asked if I knew CPR. Oh no, you're supposed to practice it right here. And we're going to continue. I know how to do it. I took it in high school. You still remember? Yeah, three inches from the sternum. She's talking. She needs CPR. Listen, if someone collapses and not breathing, I ain't touching them. I'm trying to take the call. It needs to do the job. Johnny, if someone goes down, we come here, we train for two minutes, then we go back and save them. Exactly. Just like being a Southwest pilot. Okay, first you call first you call nine one one. Are you paying attention? Yes. Really close to the xiphoid process. I think this is the time to take a class. You know what? Go, go, Johnny, go. Oh my god, Johnny. Come on. You can do this. You can save a life, Johnny. Come on, Johnny. Come on, Johnny. Stay with us. Did you ever think he might not be worth saving? Well, come on. Stay with us, Johnny. Keep him going. Today. 
What if it's a baby? Not today. Not on your watch, Johnny. Come on. You can do this. Good speed. Push fast. Good speed. Slow down. Slow down, Johnny. You can. <laughs> Are they playing staying alive? Time for her to pass it. Come on, keep the head up, Johnny. This is it. Uh, We're in the home stretch. So don't lose him, Johnny. Johnny's like Quincy. Are those girls laughing at me? No, they're paying you no they're paying you no mind like most girls. Come on, Johnny, save a life. Well, turn her out. I don't need to research. Necessitate someone to show them a good time. Johnny, I'm gonna have to do this to you when you get too tired after doing this. It's just a push harder. Right. I tried. Johnny, you're just gonna leave the. the, the I tried. For what kind of class is this? Uh oh. Oh my God, Johnny, you're losing them. Well, get in there. Here, give me the cue. <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at this. The Humi Hogan Art Gallery. I've been meaning to catch this. Yeah. Oh, there's the first plane the Wright brothers ever fly. Johnny and I are going live. What, Johnny? Much quieter. That's why we're gonna go over here and broadcast. Oh, the frickin' and flyer. Uh, Johnny and I here at the uh, Baltimore Airport. This is the tour diary over here, mm. and then over here is us live. So, if you were wondering how we're doing this, this is uh, the live chat. Well, that's the screen. I want to be involved. And there's the comments. Some are good and some are stupid. And uh, there's Johnny. Johnny's gonna get involved too. And uh, anyway. This is, uh, so as the tour diary goes, you know, this has been the longest day ever, a four hour layover. And uh, here we are. So anyway, we're gonna talk to the people. Those of you watching the tour diary, you, you will know that you're- Your viewers recommended we eat at, this place is called OBG, uh, no, uh, Oak Brookies. We'll have to get clarified. Anyway, we're gonna have some food after the successful book. This is where we're having dinner. Thank you to the viewers who super chatted. That's why we're able to afford this meal. We're starting with the Maryland crab soup. Then we're thinking about maybe the famous crab cake. I, I don't know. Jumbo crab balls, or devil balls. Oh, that's crab cake, that's the famous thing to get. How's that great? It's really good. And then we're looking also at these fish and shrimp tacos. Shrimp tacos are good too, you get three hours. Supposed to be so we ordered food. I knew we should have went to World Restaurant. And uh, this is the place they recommended. But Stephen and Christy were here earlier. Christy said it was terrible, avoided at all costs, and it's very bland. Uh, this is a $50 crab cake or something. Anyway, uh, I hope there's food on the plane. How's the crab cake? These things are $30 a piece. 50 something if you get two. This coleslaw looks terrible. The shrimp tacos are okay, but this doesn't look like a very big meal. Johnny and I are getting ready to board the plane. We suddenly think it wasn't such a good idea that we ate uh, sea urchin, crabs, and clams, and shrimps. Johnny doesn't like to fly very well. Fly. None of us do, but he gets a little motion. Maybe like that? Yeah. This plane has 25 open seats, approximately. Johnny and I's goal is to make sure that none of those people get between us. We need to have all those 25 seats in the middle. Uh, not for uh, our relationship status, but because this is going to be a long time, we need space. The, uh, Flight attendant did not think that we would be able to protect our seat. It was the easiest time we've ever had to do it. So, for the next, can you keep it down? We're trying to do a show. So, for the next five and a half, thank you. You should be considered. For the next five and a half hours, we have our own space. No. The guy outside told us 25 seats. And she told us, good luck with that. Yeah, kind of rude. Very rude. And I think it was because we were white. Just for that, I'm filling up both of these bags with my clam bars. Now we, uh, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Good luck with this.